Thank you to Google Career Certificates for sponsoring a portion of this video. My turn, my turn is today, baby. My turn is today. I cannot see my car. Oh, there she is. Oh wow. Rigorous, rigorous, hey. Can't get looking rigorous. Look at champagne, but I'm rigorous. Look at campaign, look at rigorous. Look at Whole team, hella rigorous. Lifestyle so rigorous. What? Hairstyle so rigorous. Hey. The top five ain't rigorous. If you left out this rigorous, 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 rigorous. Me and my niggas is rigorous. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sibum Banza. Welcome back to another vlog on Mom Banza. Today is a very, very exciting, a very, very special day. So the last time me and you spoke about anything car related, you know that my, my car was breaking down. It was failing me in front of a lady I was trying to court, by the way, but as collab. To be fair, the car has been failing me for a while. Around last year, towards the end of the year, was when I broke even. You know, I started paying more to get the car fixed than I did to buy the car initially. You get what I'm saying? Usually around that point is when you start thinking, okay, my second hand car is now finished. I need to get something else. And honestly, I tried. I went and I applied to get a car and they said, nope, they rejected me. They rejected me and it was painful. Luckily, my mom was there to calm me down and she told me what she always tells me. She just said, Nyamezela, you know, because at the end of the day, there's only so much you can do. If you're getting rejected by the banks, you just have to wait. Maybe it's not your turn right now. Maybe your turn is coming later on in life. My turn, my turn is today, baby. My turn is today. Hello? Hi, Juma, how are you doing? I'm all right, how are you? I'm good, thank you. I was wondering if you'd heard back at all yet. Oh, we just waiting the guys, the one that is uh, for the paperwork to, yes. to drop to us. So they never yet come. Oh, they haven't dropped yet. No. Thanks a Thanks lot. Thanks Sure. I'm so bored. Like, I get it. It's like administration and stuff. So it's stuff that has to be done. But yeah, I feel like I've been waiting years. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's not going to make a difference when it comes. It's not going to make a difference. Oh, here we go. He's calling me. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, he just dropped. This better be good news. Yes, go <laughs> for the Kia Rio White, right? Yes. Are you ready for me? Uh, I think you never just die by mistake. <laughs> but as I, as I said that your car is ready, this one come after 10. Okay, I I'll can... Just for us. Okay, no problem. So I can come after 10? Yes. Okay, Juma, thank you very much. I'll see you then. No problem. See you then. Sure. Thank you. Victory! He heard me scream victory. I just realized that I, I, um, I didn't drop the phone. Okay, so we can go fetch the car. I am gonna get a haircut. I can't have my car see me for the first time. And this is what my hair looks like, so. Let me go do that. Are you ready to go to work? Okay. While I get in my Uber and I'm on my way to the car dealership, here is a word from our sponsors. Over the past few months, I've really stuck to my goal of reading more books. I often find myself reading like two books at a time. And I know my fellow readers will understand me when I say that sometimes I buy a new book while unfinished ones just watch me from the shelf. I'm at the airport. What else am I supposed to do but buy books. In a few short months, this habit has helped me start feeling really good about myself. You know, I just finished reading um, a book called Grow the F Up about being a responsible adult. And now I'm reading The Psychology of Money, which pretty much follows the same themes, except it's about money. And I think one of the most responsible ways you can spend your money is through education. That's why I strongly suggest enrolling in Google Career Certificates 
today. You can earn job ready skills in a range of career fields like digital marketing, data analytics, IT support in six months or less. You don't even need any degree or relevant experience to start. Listen, the year might be coming to an end, but you can still work towards a tech credential that'll give you access to a growing job market. It's affordable and you can access the courses of your choice for free for one week. So click on the link in the description and find your preferred course to start your journey. Thank you to Google Career Certificates for sponsoring this portion of the vlog. Now, let's get back to it. Uh, I cannot see my car. Oh, there she is. Yeah, I just wanted to see the, the Decra and then just uh, some form of, uh, like a proof of payment for the mechanics, you know? Yeah, just to show that the work was done, the necessary work. Okay, I'm in my car. And that is crazy to me that I'm in my car, but uh, I'm in my car. I am in my motor vehicle. It is so beautiful. I am obsessed. Now that I look at it, they only gave me like a less than a quarter tank, which is quite cruel, but it's fine. I can't, I can't believe it's my car. I can't believe it's my car. It feels like a joke. It feels like somebody's playing a sick joke on me and they're gonna come soon and be like, oh no, it's not. It's not actually your car. I realize I need to give you guys a little bit of an update. So I got the car yesterday. While I was filming myself all excited about getting the car, which I still very much am, I realized how dirty my sensor was on my camera. It was absolutely filthy. So I woke up today. I went to um, cameras in Rosebank at Rosebank Mall. I actually met one of two of you guys. Every time I go to Rosebank Mall, I meet uh, a subscriber or three, and it's always a good time. I went to cameras, I got my camera fixed, so now at least that thing is gone. It was horrible. Every time I filmed, like if the sky was behind me, horrible. A white wall, horrible. There's like little black dots. I'm sure some of you guys have noticed, you're just too nice to say anything. And then I was like, you know what, let me go get that cleaned because I'm gonna hate watching this vlog back about how excited I was about my car, and then all I notice is these little black dots because my camera was dirty. So. Now my camera is clean, very, very clean. I love the way it looks right now. It's also a Saturday, which means it's a football day. I've invited a couple of my friends to come and watch Chelsea versus Arsenal. It just so happens to also be the Springbok semi-final, quarter-final, semi-final, semi-final. It is the semi-final against England. Um, so I've invited a couple of my friends over. We're gonna watch the first game, chill, watch the rugby also. It should be a fun Saturday. You guys are fighting. Good morning guys, it is the day after that historic win against England in the Rugby World Cup semi-finals. I cannot believe how close that game was. I am so glad that I invited some of my friends to come and watch it at the house. I, 
it, it couldn't have gone better. It literally couldn't have gone better. It couldn't have been a better evening. Right now, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna head outside, go grab some breakfast, you know, a little Sunday something. As you know what they say, Sundays are for the lovers. It's just another reason for me to drive the car. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it's just, I think we are going to go to Glenda's, um, that place that I that, that has the pancakes that I really, really love. Sorry, the sun. I'm really enjoying, um, Oh snap, I was supposed to take this turn off. Oh no. Yo, and in Joburg, you miss a turn. We're gonna be in we're gonna be in bloom just now. This car is so smooth. Like this car is so unbelievably smooth. I can change gears with one finger. It is such a pleasant drive. It makes driving not feel like a chore. You know, I think like after driving old cars my whole life, I for I not that I forgot, I didn't know that driving a new car like could be so pleasant and not feel like a chore like sometimes when i had to you know like when i have to drive and you ask me to drop you off somewhere i'm just like yeah <laughs> and it's like it's not that i don't want to go it's like my car i never know what's going to happen i never know like what stunt it's going to pull on me whoever drove this car before um they drove it for about twelve thousand k's inside the car they took care of it very very well like inside the car it's amazing. It's beautiful. I am. I am obsessed. I am obsessed. So um, I asked them if I can have soft bacon, and they were like, "Yeah, that's been an option the whole time." So I've been struggling with the crispy bacon. God, yeah, I could have had soft bacon this whole time, but I decided to stick with it. I almost changed and had a breakfast bun because it sounded really, really good. Um, but I'm gonna stick with what I love here, and that is the pancakes, American pancakes at Glenda's. Life changing. Okay, let me close my windows. Eh? Hey? Closing the windows <laughs> with a finger? No more this. <laughs> Every time I'm trying to close the window. Um, lunch was good. Lunch was good. Hey, I mean, it'll break breakfast, breakfast, lunch. Oh, I keep um, doing my windscreen wipers by mistake because my Figo, the indicators on the other side. So, this is my car. This is it. This is what it looks like on the outside. It is beautiful. I can't really show you the, the back and the front because of the number plate and I'm very lazy to blur. So um, yeah, that is my car. That's what it looks like from the uh, outside. I like I, could, I couldn't be happier. Listen, I could talk forever and there's probably so many things once I watch this video and I'm editing it that I'm gonna realize, damn, I wish I had said this or I wish I had said that. But uh, overall, I just wanted to bring you guys on this journey to show you my excitement and to show you how much I appreciate the, the support and the effort and the loyalty that you guys have shown to me over the past nine years or so. It's been absolutely incredible. The fact that, you know, I have my house there behind me and I have my car here that I'm in is something that I'll never, ever, ever, ever take for granted. But I feel like I deserve it, you know? I feel like I really, really deserve it. Like, I waited, and I didn't rush myself. I waited. I got a 40,000 Rand car four years ago because I was like, there's no need for me to be paying really expensive installments just because I'm trying to keep up with the lifestyles that I see behind me. I got that car, and I stayed with it, and I fixed it, and I appreciated it, and it took me everywhere I needed to go. Um, and now it's time for it to move on. It already has another owner. I know you guys like to, <laughs> whenever I get new stuff, some of you guys will comment, give that one to me, give the old one to me. But um, it already has um, another owner, which is breaking my heart a little bit because I, I really do love that car, but it is time for me um, to move on. I cannot wait for all the journeys uh, we're gonna take with this car, all the adventures that we're going to have. It's going to be an incredible couple of years i don't know how long i'm going to keep it for i'm going to keep it for as long as i can obviously um i did four years with the other car so who's to say i can't do another four years five years with this one this video has been a little bit all over the place that's because i have been all over the place i've been so excited and i just wanted to do this as perfectly as possible i hope you guys are excited with me i hope you really have an understanding that a lot of this a lot of what i have is you guys it's your support it's your love 
um, that I'm able to do all the things that I'm able to do. I would never be a TV presenter on such an amazing show that allows me to have the life that I want if you guys weren't watching my YouTube videos in the first place, right? So for real, this is a big, big thank you. And my last big thank you, I hope that she watched all the way to the end of this video, is to my management, to Sim, to Uzintle. I could not have dreamed of any of this stuff if I didn't have you guys in my corner. Sim, I have known since I was in high school. Uzintle, I have known since I think I moved to Joburg. We had met a little bit before, but I really got to know her when I moved to Joburg. The Zintle that I'm talking about is Mombanza Zintle, by the way. She is part of my management team. How crazy is that? But I really, really appreciate you guys, all the work that you do for me. Every time a brand comes to me and they want to work with me, you guys are there sorting it out, make sure making sure that it is the best fit for me and that I also enjoy myself while I'm doing my job. Thank you to Sim. Thank you to Zintle. Thank you to Millennial Media. I, I could never say thank you enough. So guys, please say thank you to my management in the, the comments because, amen, I would not be driving this without them. That's just a matter of fact. It's not even a, it's not an opinion. It's not subjective. It is objective. It is a fact. I would not be able to afford what I can afford if it was not for them constantly fighting for me, constantly making sure that I get the best brand deals, the best TV shows, the best this, the best that. So shout out to you guys. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you soon with another one. Let's have fun. Let's enjoy ourselves. I hope you guys have a brilliant week. I love you so much. Mwah. Peace.